Oh, sanmanan, sanmanan, sanmanan. Um, the number one reason why your relationships keep failing is because of uncommunicated expectations. Um, I wasn't doing the pause for dramatic effect, but again, it just keeps hitting me time and time again. You speak to people, relationships fall apart. Our generation, I, I'm not too sure about other races, but I know my race, black people, your guys were struggling with relationships. On the one side, you've got sisters complaining that Amachita are losers, there's no good men. On the other side, you've got men that are complaining that sisters are just chasing money, that sisters are this, slay queens, blah, 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 fuck boys, ah, ah, ah. And then we fail. We cheat, we hurt each other, we do all, to all types of crazy shit. And we keep blaming the other person. You know, men are blaming women, women are blaming men, my toxic ex, my horrible baby mama, my horrible baby daddy. It's always blame, 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 blame. And we never take a step back and actually say, okay, what are their negative traits? What did they do? What didn't they do? And then with all of that, where are the L's that I need to collect? Where do I need to be accountable? Where did I go wrong? And it all boils down to this thing, which is uncommunicated expectations. You saying, oh, no, she just wants cash. Oh, she just wants cash. Oh, okay. Let's say hypothetically she had communicated that with you initially, before everything else. If she had vocalized, look, I expect to get 2,000 rand a month in this relationship. Would you have gone into the relationship? Would you have continued this relationship? And then when she then says, listen, you're not giving me 2,000 rand that we had agreed on, then whose fault is that? Then that's your fault. Then you take the L and you'd move on. The problem is you have so many people in relationships assuming that we can read each other's minds. There's this bullshit notion of he should have known. He should have known what? He's a guy. He thinks like a guy. She's a lady. She thinks like a lady. You know, there's situations where, uh, let's say your partner is sick. So she's sick. She's at home. She's not feeling well. And in, in her mind, she's thinking, oh my God, uh, he knows I'm sick. He must come through with um, medicine for me, some chicken soup or whatever. Uh, and he must look after me. In his mind, he's like, okay, she's sick. She probably wants to be by herself, alone. Uh, and just, I know with me personally. So this is just me. I'm projecting. I, when I am sick, you know, when I'm sick, legit, I hide in my cave. I go to the shops. I buy myself fruits. I buy myself juice. And I hide in my room. That is me. Don't come into my space. Let me be. So now let's say you're dating me. I'm assuming I project that on you. You in your mind want someone to look after you and give you the medicine and what, what, we both not communicating yet. There are some sort of expectations on the other side. You get frustrated. You say, you know what? This guy doesn't care. Lapo in my mind, I'm thinking I'm doing best by allowing you to do you. I think I'm doing best. You know, there's guys that say, Oh no, she must come through and she must cook this and she must... Hey bruh, did you communicate that expectation with her from get? And if you did start changing within the relationship, have you communicated, Guti, I'm no longer this guy, I'm moving to become this type of guy. Have you communicated who you are becoming and what that entails and your expectations therefore or therefore? I said in work, in workspaces, people are have these expectations of their, this is how much they're going to earn. They're not communicating with it, but they're like, oh, they don't look after us here financially. Did you communicate? Did you say how much you're looking for? And then you expect me to read your mind? You know, you see employers expect their employees to do this and this and this. Be proactive here, take initiative here. You don't communicate all that bullshit to your staff. Your staff doesn't do that. And then you throw all your toys out the cot. Oh, but you should have known. No, you knew, yet you chose to not communicate. Now with all, with all that said and done, just because you communicate your expectations does not, I repeat, does not mean Uguti, the other person, will now do it. Understand that. It's your fucking expectations. Just because 
you have communicated to her that you want a lady who will serve you with a tray on her knees and while you're eating gives you a bit of a gobby doesn't mean what she will now she has to all it tells us is that now you've set the rules of engagement she can now choose to play or not play and if she chooses to not play perfect move on find someone who will it means Uti, when you've communicated your financial expectations i expect to get paid a million rand a month working at this job it means Uti, the chance of you getting disappointed once you are in here is at zero because i've told you from the get unfortunately this job is only paying ten thousand rand a month we can't pay you anything more let alone your one million rand a month therefore this is what we can do you don't sign on any dotted line there's no continuation you don't feel like we're taking advantage of you there is no failure in this relationship that we have not built guys communicate effectively what is in here put it out there to your partner to your boss to your staff to your this to your that have these communication skills stop with these uncommunicated expectations that you're putting on others because others, because they're not mind readers, won't do the shit that you expect them to do. Then you will feel let down. Then you'll say they don't care. They don't love you. They don't this. They don't, aren't hardworking. They don't. All these things to break them down. And that's the beginning of the end. Communicate, guys. Effective communication. I've always said, Guti, we've got this thing where females speak Spanish, men speak Chinese, so, or Mandarin. Already. There's this huge breakdown because we fail to understand even when we try to communicate, let alone when you don't even try. Let alone when you're not even clear and say, this is what I expect. One, two, three, four. Can you meet me here? Oh, you cannot? Let's not even begin this relationship. Let's not even begin this relationship because should you not be able to hit one, two, three, four of my expectations later on, if I settle for the just two, I know at a later stage, I will expect three and four. Should you not be able to get there, we will then go on to Rocky Plains. We will then fail in this relationship. Have that communication from get. That's why at work, you have contracts. I expect you to work 45 hours. I expect you to be at this job at this time. I expect you to dress like this. I expect you to hit these sale targets. I expect you to do one, two, three, four. Can you do it? Yes or no? Yes, I can. Sure, I've communicated. Now, if we have to have a hard conversation, I'll say, look, I've communicated these expectations. You have not met them. What is happening? How can I assist you in achieving what you agreed on? That's the situation. Can I assist you in making sure that what we agreed on, have you changed and become someone else? Do we need to tailor these expectations? Are you no longer able to meet these expectations that we've agreed on? What is the situation moving forward? That's the communication we need to bring into relationships. Clear, honest communication. This mind reading bullshit, fucking gents, she can't read your mind. She can't read when you're horny. Tell her. Tell her when you're hungry. Tell her when you're frustrated. Stop being fucking passive aggressive. Busy. <laughs> now you're a fucking ogre in the house. Tell her. Tell her why what she did annoyed you. Tell her why what she said rubbed you the wrong way. And then say, these are my expectations from then on. Ask her, please, can you meet my expectations? This is what I need. And should she say no, then let's see what compromise we can get to from there. See how you can assist her in assisting you from there. But don't just, mm, now you're angry. Now you don't want to talk. Being a passive aggressive little bitch because you can't communicate. You have all these unexpected communicate, uh, unexpected uh, or uncommunicated rather expectations that you are failing to take through to your partner. And then you're angry at her or you're angry at him. Fuck, guys. We, we, we need to work harder on us. We need to work harder on fixing the relationships because as we are now, as a people, it is very toxic. So again, this is just my opinion. Who am I but one person? Let me hear from you guys. Comment, share, like, subscribe. Yantanda, guys. Thank you so much. Give me a credit. Sure.